Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a status update. It's been about two weeks since we started renovating the RV. Um, this is kind of what it looks like now. Uh, I said two weeks, but it's more like two weekends worth of work. Um, the second coat is done. We still have one more coat to go. And then we're also going to coat it with uh, polyurethane, polyacrylic, just to seal it in um, so that if the cats or our feet or anything touches, it's not going to chip the paint or anything. Uh, pretty much nothing's been done to the bathroom. Uh, we're kind of keeping it separate. But once we're done with the paint, we're going to start uh, taking out the vanity, the sink, and the cabinet. We're going to replace it with something better, There's something more modern. Uh, we're going to rip out the cabinets too, or not the cabinets, the shelves over here. We're probably going to keep the toilet for now, and then uh, eventually switch to a composting toilet. And then we have some new faucets and fixtures for the shower that we're going to replace too. But the shower pan and the shower walls are pretty good. We're just going to keep those as is. The white paint is definitely hard to put on, um, on a brown surface, even priming it. Uh, we should have probably primed it twice. Um, it's looking a lot better, but it still needs one more coat. The kitchen, however, is probably our favorite. It only required two coats and it just pretty much looks perfect almost. Uh, we're not going to do anything to that other than seal it with polycrylic. Um, the countertops still need to be done. Those will be sanded, painted, and sealed. Just gonna be a nice white shiny countertop and then uh, we cut down the booths over here uh, the booths would have extended to about where my foot is over here um, or just the edge of this table so essentially we're taking off nine inches about from here now uh, just to give us more space and to be able to get in uh, easier to the front seats because uh, the old the old cabinet was probably somewhere where my foot is again and it just get it made getting in pretty hard. Uh, but yeah, we still got probably a week or two weeks uh, to go. Uh, the plan is to get this done essentially as soon as possible so we can at least start living here and stop paying for the hotel. Uh, that will save us some money. And then uh, we're still probably gonna be working from here for a little bit, doing all the touch-ups, doing all the uh, pillows and whatever. Jayla still has to cut down the seats and. We, ha we have a mattress that we're going to have to, it's a memory foam mattress, so a Tempur-Pedic that we're going to cut down and uh, fit into this thing. Yeah, you can see that it's slightly, um, like this part of the corner is taken off right here, so we're going to have to do it. But yeah, it's not much more, but just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, it has been two weeks, and uh, yeah, we definitely made a lot of progress. Once, once you start seeing the work, uh, it definitely starts to feel better and you feel like you're actually doing something and not just... Um, constantly working and every day we would come here um, things didn't things didn't feel like it was moving us fast and then once the second layer was on it's like whoa this is a whole new place but yeah that's all I have for you right now um, there'll be either another update or we're gonna be done finally with the RV and just do a full renovated tour for you all right until next time see ya